In this problem, we are asked to consider a picture that has a frame put around the picture. It's a terrible frame. There we go. Make it look kind of center. So let's see what this problem describes exactly. We have an 8 by 12 picture. So I'll label this as 8 by 12. And the frame of uniform width around it, that just means it's the same distance on the left and the right and the top and the bottom, even if my picture doesn't look to scale. And just for kicks, let's call that distance x on the left and the right, on the top and the bottom around this picture, because we don't really know how wide this frame is. We are told that the area of the frame equals the area of the picture. So let's look at the area of the picture in here. The area of the picture is, we've got a length of 8 and a width of 12. 8 times 12 is 96. That means the picture has an area of 96. The frame having the same area is also 96, which means for total area in the entire thing, 96 and 96, we have 192 total area that we're talking about. Now, on the same terms, we need to decide what the total length and the total width is going to be on this rectangle. We've got 8 in the center, and off to the right, there's an x of frame, and off to the left, there's an x of frame. There's two x's, so we might be able to represent that with 8 plus 2x. Similarly, with the height, if we want to represent that, the height is 12, and there's an x on the top and an x on the bottom, which means in addition to the 12 that's already there, we have two extra x's from the frame, or 12 plus 2x. Putting this all together, one side is 8 plus 2x, another side 12 plus 2x to give us an area of 192, that becomes 8 plus 2x times 12 plus 2x, equals the total area of 192. We now have a problem we can solve to figure out what is the width of that frame. And we can start solving by foiling. 8 times 12 is 96, plus 16x, plus 24x, plus 4x squared equals 192. Combining like terms in the middle, also putting it in order, 4x squared plus 40x plus 96 equals 192. The equation needs to equal 0, so we'll subtract 192 from both sides, and we get 4x squared plus 40x minus 96 equals 0. And now that the equation equals 0, we can start solving it by factoring. And when we factor, the first thing we always look for is the greatest common factor. You'll notice 4 goes into each of these terms. Factoring 4 out, we get x squared plus 10x minus 24 equals 0. And then we can continue factoring the inside. We end up with x minus, or how about x plus 12 and x minus 2. And again, if you want to review factoring, you can look at the factoring videos, but we can say that x plus 12 equals 0, or x minus 2 equals 0. Subtracting 12, we get one answer for x to be negative 12. Adding 2, we get our other answer for x to be 2. However, if x is representing the width of a frame, it wouldn't make any sense to have a negative value. So x, the width of the frame, must be... It's a 2-inch wide frame, so that the area of the frame is equal to the area of the picture. We found that by remembering that the frame is on the left and right side, and so our lengths become 8 plus 2x and 12 plus 2x, and multiplying those together, they will equal our total area. Solving that equation told us the width of the frame.